My family and I went to Denver, Colorado for a week and I saw some incredible things I can't wait to show you. On the first day there, we went to the Garden of the Gods and I was able to find my first reptile of the trip. Even though fence lizards are definitely a very common lizard to find here, it was still really cool to see and I was so happy to find one. The landscape here is so different compared to where I live in Florida. There's just beautiful mountains in the distance, very few trees, lots of rocks, and almost desert-like areas. It's just so beautiful and I really am hoping to find a lot of animals while I'm here. I've been finding a lot of fence lizards on the rocks along the trails. We came across this very interesting white squirrel. White squirrels are really rare, so this is cool to see. It's amazing because there's so many deer here. Colorado is home to both mule deer and white-tailed deer. Next, we went to the Red Rock Amphitheater. While hiking around the Red Rocks, I found what I think is a six-lined race runner. I wasn't able to get a great view because it ran off, but I believe that is a six-lined race runner. It's hard to tell in the video, but these rocks, these like mountains are just huge. They're just incredible. This beautiful beetle landed on my shirt and it turns out it's a blue fungus beetle. Very cool. Next, we went to the Rocky Mountain Arsenal National Wildlife Refuge. I found this precious cottontail rabbit resting behind a bush. There's so many prairie dogs here and they're really fun to watch because of how active they are. The prairie dogs love living in these open plains. We were able to get really close to these mule deer. They're called mule deer because of their long mule-like ears. Here at the Wildlife Refuge, they have a whole herd of tons of bison. 
It was so cool being able to see these massive animals up close. But at a different area we go to, we get to see a different herd even closer. I'll show you guys that in a few minutes. I'm not sure, but I think that bird was a great horned owl. On the side of the road, several times we saw a huge herd of pronghorn antelope. They're called pronghorn antelope, but they really aren't antelopes. They're just pronghorns. These are really amazing animals. They do not look like they could be found here in the US. They're very fast and can run like 60 miles per hour. And they can maintain that fast speed for longer than she does but they aren't faster than she does. Here's some pictures I got from visiting the paint mines. These were beautiful rock formations with beautiful colors. It was very cool to see. Today we're at El Dorado Canyon. It's very beautiful and there's a lot more trees in this area. I've spotted a snake. It looks like some sort of racer. Okay, so that was totally unexpected. Everywhere I go, I'm looking for snakes and I heard something in that bush and I just found that yellow-bellied racer. That was really cool. I, I didn't want to stress it out too much, so I only uh, interacted with it for a short amount of time. I wish I could have gotten a better look, but it was very jumpy and I didn't want it to get too freaked out. This right here looks like some sort of puncture wound, maybe from a bird talon or maybe a coyote's tooth. It was the strangest thing because this little fearless mouse here came right up to us and didn't seem to care at all that we were there. It was not bothered by our presence at all. So we were able to get some videos right up close of this adorable little mouse. It's probably a deer mouse, but I'm not sure why it didn't care we were there, but we could definitely have pet it or picked it up. We didn't because we didn't want to scare it or anything. And also we don't know if it has diseases and we don't want to give it diseases. So we left it alone, but we were able to get some really cool videos
now it's time to show you those bison I said we were able to get really close to. We were viewing these amazing bison when two of the caretakers for them asked if we wanted to get closer. Of course we did. And so we were able to get some really great videos and pictures. We're behind a fence here, but we're right in the middle of where they're grazing. So pretty cool. They told us how the bison have been having a lot of babies this month and they pointed out that this bison here has twins, so that's really cool. Today we're hiking at St. Mary's Glacier. This chipmunk here seems to be eating moss or some sort of plant here by this rock. This place is absolutely incredible. It feels like it's 80, but apparently it's 50, but it feels very warm. Yet there's snow and 
the lake has ice on it. On our last day here, we decided to revisit the Garden of the Gods. This whole trip, I was really hoping to find a rattlesnake because of how, you know, when you think of the West, you think of rattlesnakes. So I really wanted to find one. And sadly, I haven't seen anything. But I was able to find a bunch more fence lizards, so that's really cool. But then all of a sudden, I saw a rattlesnake. And by the time I was able to pull out my phone and type in the password, the snake had already gone halfway under a rock, so I was only able to get video of the tail. I'm thinking it was a young midget faded rattlesnake, but yeah, that was definitely a highlight of the trip. I'm so glad I was able to see it. So it's the next day, the day we leave, and it's three in the morning, we're waiting for a bus to take us to the airport, and there's a coyote, I think, um, across the street, and it was fighting with this fox here for a mouse. They had caught a mouse. And I could not believe how close we could get to that fox. You could see that it's like it didn't see us coming up. It got startled when it saw us. But that was, that was incredible. Well, as you can see, I had an extraordinary trip. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the things I saw. And don't forget to check out my last video if you haven't seen it. It's a fight between some cottontail rabbits. I also saw that here. So it's been really amazing and I would definitely go back. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.